Hey, hey, welcome to another episode brought to you by Cell Adventures. Right now, we are all set for this video, which will be a tutorial on how you can create your own tournaments, esports tournaments, on this amazing platform known as Community Gaming. Now, what we are going to do here at Cell Adventures and with our upcoming Apollo Squad tournament, we are in fact going to use this interface to organize and run the competition and teach you how you can do so and allow you to actually see how the tournament turns out to be based on one of the most popular NFT games at the moment, none other than Axie Infinity. So of course, if you are starting with this video, please make sure that you check out the link uh, or rather check out the video for the tournament that we've run with the Apollo Squad. Or if you have already watched that and you're coming to this one from that video, then sit tight, my friends, because we are going to show you the simple, easy, fast, free step by steps that you need to take in order to create your own tournament on community gaming. Now, they have made it so straightforward and their platform is really, really awesome. What you need to do, of course, is to simply create your account first, all right? So in fact, I am stepping uh, a little bit up here with the slides. This is in fact where you want to start out with for the organizers, www.communitygaming.io slash sign up. You're there, just fill in the details and you are good to go. Now, once you are done, you just need to go to the dashboard. All right, give that a click and you can immediately select this button that tells you to create your new tournament. All right, it's that simple. You can see that for one of our uh, HR staff team members, she already went about creating a couple of test tournaments and then created the actual Apollo Squad tournament where all the details are included along that line. Now, once you have done that, the first step that you need to do is to, of course, name your tournament and put down the timing and also the game as well. And she highlights that you want to check the unlisted tournament button if you don't want the tournament to be publicly uh, posted, all right? If you don't want that to be available for the public. So if it's, a, if it's an internal competition, like the one that we are running here with the Apollo Squad, we need to click that so that we get only the eight participants that we won. All right, yes, we ran this competition for eight, our top eight scholars on the leaderboard uh, based on weekly SLP gain for one prize. Now, once you have done that, you get to choose your bracket details. All right, that's the second step. Again, so straightforward. There are a few options where you can go about uh, with that selection. And here's the best part, right? The bracket is completely generated by community gaming so you don't have to worry about that you just need to input the results and it will do the rest all right the rest of the available options are there as well but of course if you are looking for single elimination like this for example you can just go ahead and click it like so uh, you select the number of teams and then of course you have one member per team as well all right and uh, this is obviously uh, just an example because we do have eight teams at the end of the day. So depending on your number, just go ahead and put that down and you can even indicate the, the amount of members that will be representing said team. Uh, there's also going to be the reporting function, all right? We would actually recommend that you go ahead and click that so that people can actually make themselves known to you as the tournament organizer if he or she is present. Now, the tournament details, very straightforward. You will actually be able to write down uh, all the details that your potential players uh, will need to know about. And there's already a template placed in there by Community Gaming. So you just need to fill in the blanks and then you're pretty much good to go with this part. Now, the price, very straightforward as well. You put down a little bit of a description and tell everybody about how uh, the price is gonna be going out. I think it's very crucial that you adjust that portion there at the top because I think even for one upcoming Axie Infinity competition, they didn't edit that properly. They say that price a payment uh, will be set, prizes will be sent out immediately after the tournament by using PayPal. I don't think that's gonna happen because they're giving away AXS tokens. So that's definitely gonna be on the blockchain. So please make sure to edit that so that you are crystal clear unless you are going to be distributing US dollars, then that's a different thing altogether. Now, there is a way that you can go about selecting the tournament to uh, send out the details or rather send out the prizes on the blockchain, all right? So that is automatically done and you can just go ahead and select the different prize pool distributions as well. All there for you guys. It is that simple, right? 
And here you go to the advanced options, right? We do have the enable check-in. Uh, you have a little bit of a check-in timer as well. You can actually see for yourself who has checked in. Again, the system will handle all of that. And of course, there will be an option for you to enable registration questions, all right? Something which I feel is really, really good for your potential tournament contestants, especially if they have any inquiries along the way. Last but not least, you got to put down your Discord channel, right? That's very important. Put it down there. And you can also enable game ID that will allow people to put in their own custom ID, all right? Of course, if you want to streamline that with the Discord IDs and the tournament IDs, then you probably do not want to check that final part. Right, so with that, that was pretty much all uh, we needed to do there for the setting up of your own tournament, all right? That simple, that fast free, and we have already gone about creating uh, this tournament, and we're going to be posting a video as well on what transpired and also some of the tips uh, along the way. Now, what we do want to recommend, right, is that you have to perform a little bit more outside of the community gaming platform if you're running a game like Axie Infinity specifically. Like, for example, um, the players, right, they actually need to add one another uh, with the Ronin address, all right? So that's some of the back-end stuff that you need to do outside of community gaming. You get them to add each other uh, using the Ronin address, so only one of them needs to create the match, and then they are able to go in and compete. Uh, and the rest, of course, you know, making sure they have stable internet connection, uh, keeping in close contact with the Discord and Telegram, uh, informing them, you know, that their device has to have batteries, all the very, very simple stuff, right? But uh, essentially, right, as a back-end organizer, you are using Telegram or Discord to organize the players by telling them who gets to go next uh, and who should initiate the match. Again, using XC Infinity as an example, you challenge somebody to a battle and then you play the match, all right? And then, of course, if the organizer is running a stream, they can actually add these players with the same Ronin address to watch their game uh, with a slight delay, all right? So obviously there's a bit of a uh, stream delay so that you can't uh, influence the match, uh, you know, by, by, by telling one of the players, etc., etc. So there's a bit of a delay there, which is fantastic. So as an organizer, you can actually jump into the game to watch what has happened and you can see the results. Now, if you have too many matches going on at the same time, that is when your Discord or Telegram or your messaging platforms will come in handy for them to send you screenshots of who managed to win the game. Uh, if it's best out of one, best out of three, best out of five, you just send it over to you and you update the brackets accordingly and you just see the magic unfold on community gaming, right? It is that simple. Uh, at the end of the day, guys, all right, do check out the website, okay? And if you are a guild master, if you are a manager, this is a must-have tool to build your community, right? It is such a simple thing to do. Fostering competition with cohesion and sportsmanship. And we'll be very excited to bring you more collaborations with community gaming in the near future. Do check out their webpage and feel free to reach out to us in the comments if you have any inquiries. Uh, once more from all of us here at Cell Adventures, thank you so much for watching. We're going to have more content coming up in the near future. Feel free to drop a subscribe and a like, and you're going to be hearing a lot from us, not just from the Apollo squad, but from some of the other NFT games that we're going to be diving into as well. Minds of Delania and Cypher just around the corner. And yes, you can expect that there will be competitions and esport tournaments on community gaming for those games as well. Stay safe. Bye-bye now.